welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. I have been a little bit busy. I have set up our entire base here. Uh, well, outpost. And I have hooked up our dropship to it for now. And, of course, our miner is hooked up here. Now, I do need to go and fill up some... Hydrogen tanks. Uh, let's have a look inside. Now we have our two refineries, all our pipes. What, what are they called? Uh, conveyor tubes uh, are welded up and painted. The ones that I can get to, I can't get to that one in there, and I can't get to that one in there, which annoys me greatly. Uh, but it is what it is, at least for now. We can always do it later. Uh, then we have, our, of course, our cargo container. We have two assemblers. We have two uh, H2O2 generators. We have a couple of oxygen tanks. We have a couple of hydrogen engines. And we have a hydrogen tank. So that is all good. Now, I was considering that, well, I wasn't thinking really, so I wasn't considering anything because I was just being stupid, uh, that the only source of power here would be either the hydrogen engines or solar power. But of course, there is wind power here because we are on Mars. Mm, so there is wind power. So we're going to need to set up some wind power so that we're not basically using all our hyd hydrogen to power everything in here. Now. If we look at our refineries, so this guy is working on uh, platinum. I did have to go and mine some iron because we basically ran out. And if we just take a look here, so both of them are working on platinum at the moment, which is all good. Which is all good. We have plenty of silicon. So what we really want is platinum, and we want it as fast as possible, so it's fine that both of them are working on that. Uh, let's go and uh, just go in here in the assembler, if I can hit the thing. And inventory, H2, O2 generator. So this one actually doesn't have any ice. Let's just fill up our tanks here. While we're at it, uh, we might as well fill up our oxygen tanks as well. Alrighty. Good, good. And all of the ice is actually going into our two engines here at the moment. These guys are not storing up anything. Tank. So, this has 0.5. 1.3, but nothing is going in. 0 0.5. These two are full. That's our uh, minor tanks. I make sure to fill those up. So, okay. Now, there are a couple of things that I want to do. Why is that being pressurized? Um, so, first of all, I, I want to get some windows in here along the top to get some light in when it's daylight and then I want to build a garage for a rover or two now the garage I'm thinking will come out here somehow but I'm not entirely sure on that Let's see what do we have on us not a whole lot which is fine so Well, oh, we were, that was one too high up. So let's stick you in again. So it's here we want it. Some of 
this off. I'm not getting the cobalt back, which is a little annoying. some windows here. Do I have windows here? And it's... Is it this one I want? I think it is. No, it's not. It is... And this one. No, that one. That one. So I want it like that. Good. 
we, we're still going to put some lights inside, but for now that looks pretty darn good, in my opinion. So, I'm thinking that back here we'll be making a landing pad for the dropship. Which means that over this way maybe we'll be making our... Our... What's it called? Our... Our thing! Our thing is what we're making here. Our garage! Our garage! Is what I want to say that we're making. Frozen armor. So, do that. Like so. And then we'll build our garage here. We need to come up a bit. So, slope here. I don't like that it's that slope though. I think I'd rather do stairs. Let's lay out a foundation for... Oh, that's slow. Definitely gonna have to come up. We're gonna have to come up one more. So this here is going to be a little hallway. Yeah. So how many was that? I think 13 will do in the width. We're not going to have large grid rovers, we're going to have small grid ro rovers. Rovers. Small grid rovers will have. So. We'll have stairs coming up there. this so we will make it square uh, this needs to be heavy armor though Dang it.
here because this will be the outside. We need to adjust the the build and repair system's radius. See, it only goes to right there. Outer wall will be here, which means two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ground level will actually be here. put floors in, which will be at this level. Almost there. Sized garage with space for one, maybe two rovers. I don't know that we'll need two rovers. I don't know why we would need two rovers, to be honest. But this is definitely enough space for a decent sized rover. then and we can fix the build and repair system at the same time as well our energy here so that is a lot faster and we need to adjust our build and repair system Actually, it'll be easier to do if we face this way. Build and repair system. And we want on. Show area. It's not that one. One. 
with this one. 150 meters, is that enough? Let's go check. Right, we need to offset it a little bit. that up. Let's just finish up the hallway here. It's going to need to be one taller. It's going to need to be two taller. Oh, this will be fine. And I think we'll have the hallway here. Seven is that light or heavy? armor. There is no light or heavy. Okay. Fine. We'll do this like this. stick a door in here. Do we have the door somewhere? We do. And then I think we'll just do this. Okay. So once this is closed up, we can go open up to the to the actual base, the actual outpost. 
and we can connect them. We also need some piping to come over here. I'm thinking we'll probably do that underground. Seems like a good plan to me. Okay. Now, we are out of time for today, so we'll continue on with this build uh, in the next one, uh, where hopefully... Let's just see. out of iron plate again. It's insane how much iron plate you use. So I'll get some iron plate uh, made and uh, the build and repair system will continue its job. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.